part of the Shutter franchise now. That's huge. Oh, awesome. I love horror. I, I'm so happy this is my first horror movie. I love horror so much. Okay, you love it. So why? I mean, you were, well, you were probably a little younger when you filmed this, right? Yeah, I was 11. And you got traumatized? Because <laughs> I'm traumatized over horror. How do you do it? Well, I always wanted to, I always liked horror because from an actor's perspective, like watching horror, I always wondered how it would be to film it and how fun it is to film it. And now I have, and <laughs> it was pretty fun, gotta tell you. Okay, so what scene were you looking forward to filming? What scene in Boy Behind the Door? Mm, probably the trunk scene in the beginning. I was I wasn't looking forward to it per se. I was kind of nervous about it because there was a lot of kicking, a lot of screaming going on. And it was an actual trunk, by the way. And we had actual duct tape and it was closed. So we actually had to kick at it to get it open. It was a pretty intense scene. I was gonna ask you if you had a stunt double for that. Nope. Uh, the only stunt double I had was, I think, yeah, when I had to, when I had to roll over in the end, that was it. Okay. And when I had to fall out the car, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, that is scary. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not Tom Cruise. I won't do that. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. <laughs> so. What was one of the other challenges that you faced um, to be part of this film? One of the, the psychological, challenges. maybe? What'd you say? Maybe the psychological aspect? I feel like this whole movie was a challenge, if I'm being honest. Every single, there wasn't, we shooted, we shot all the hard scenes first, kind of, so... I feel like every single scene was a was a little bit drastic. It was really intense and just in the same dark mindset most of the movie. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know about you, but I hope one of my friends is like Bobby that would stay to save me and not run <laughs> off. <laughs> mm -hmm. How do you feel about that? Because this movie is also about friendship. Yeah, he had... He had a choice when he when he finally got out of the trunk. He had a choice to leave, leave, come back and call for help or go inside and save his best friend. And you guys see what he chose. He's a good friend. Yeah, definitely gives us tells a lot about friendship. Mm -hmm. So what was it like to work with uh, Ezra Dewey, who plays Kevin? We <laughs> he's a comedian. We had so much fun there was one time during our lunch break the stunt guy he brought us these these like alien laser guns and we played with them throughout the rest of the movie when we had a couple of breaks and there were these good good gummies of crafty that we always had in our pockets always they were so good yeah we had so much fun because it's a really you have to be in a really dark mindset when you're about to film and me and Ezra and the directors we always made sure to light it up at times and crack some jokes just to not keep it too dark at times. So for what was your experience for your first horror film? Uh, was it what you expected? Where did it challenge you a little more than what you anticipated? It was kind of a one out of 10, definitely a 20, but it was kind of already what I thought it was gonna be. Just a lot of, uh, screaming and kicking and crying. It was kind of already what I expected, but it, I'd do it again. If I had a choice, I'd do it again. And at the end of the day, did you feel drained? Did you oh, make a lot of it yes. psychologically, emotionally? Yes. My throat, I remember on the weekends, my throat was sore. And I had like a cough for a bit because my throat was so sore. I drank tea. I brought tea to sit. Man. It was, it was exhausting. i do it again, though. It was fun. <laughs> again? Nice. Mm -hmm. So who, who would you want to 
What franchise of the horror films would you want to join or be a part of if you had a chance now? What franchise? Yeah. I mean, now you're an expert. <laughs> um, if Maze Runner kept going, I would have chose Maze Runner. It's Maze, I mean, Maze, Maze Runner is scary to some people. It's not really hard, but if Maze Runner kept going, I would have chose that. Ooh, next to Dylan O'Brien. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Maze Runner was such a good franchise. Oh, wait, either that or the It franchise. I know it, I know it ended, but either that or the It, the it franchise. Also, this film is also about, you know, kidnapping. You know, we're talking about the, the fun part, the making, but besides friendship, kidnapping, then now this is something that does happen, unfortunately, to young kids. What kind of message do you hope that it opens up at a dinner table after watching a film like this? Don't trust anybody, please. Stay safe, stay with your, stay with your family, please. Don't trust anybody. <laughs> Maybe families try to set uh, some sort of uh, plan in case of anything, right? Mm -hmm. Keeps a reminder, keeps a reminder up. So anything you can share to finalize that you'll be working on, we'll be seeing you in. I know there's This Is Us, which is huge. You guys should stay tuned. Who knows? I might have a new movie coming out. Who knows? Uh, drama? Or... Yes. Are you going to be losing your voice? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, <man>. no. <laughs> you guys should stay tuned to see. It's pretty good. It's really good. Okay. I guess we'll have to wait. Thank you so much for your time and talking about the boy behind the door. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Congratulations.